We saw new evidence today that the job market is still improving. The Labor Department says there were about 3.8 million job openings in June, and that was 28,000 more than the month before. But these better prospects haven't helped the long-term unemployed very much. In June, the number of people jobless for 27 weeks or more was 4.3 million. That is nearly 37 percent of all unemployed Americans. In North Carolina, they are trying a new way to get people back to work. They're cutting off unemployment benefits. And Jim Axelrod has been looking into that. These days, Sean Marceau's life is pretty simple. He's either at the gym or in front of his computer looking for a job. Simple, but not easy. So right now, in your bank account, you have $170? Yes. And I believe 93 cents in savings. That's all you got. That's all I have to my name. Marceau lost his job selling insurance six months ago. Last week, he got his final unemployment check. July 1st, that was the cutoff date. Yep, that's, that's D-Day. No more. North Carolina has the nation's fifth highest unemployment rate, 8.8%. When the recession hit, the state did not have enough money to cover all its unemployment claims. So it borrowed $2.5 billion from the federal government to cover the shortfall. Pat McCrory is North Carolina's governor. It was a loan with interest. And what I'm doing is I'm tearing up the credit card. And I'm going, we're going to pay off our debt like every reasonable family has to do. The federal loan increases the taxes employers pay to fund unemployment by $21 per worker per year. Governor McCrory says paying the loan off as soon as possible would reduce those taxes. We're going to try to free up money so businesses can hire people and get them off unemployment. This was not an easy decision. To get the money to pay off the loan earlier, the Republican governor and Republican legislature cut current state benefits from $535 a week to $350. The benefits now end at a maximum of 20 weeks instead of 26. Say 70,000 70, of our brothers and sisters. Cutting state unemployment benefits makes North Carolina ineligible for federal benefits altogether. So 70,000 unemployed whose state benefits have run out now have no money coming in at all. And folks who say, I know it's a tough economy, but get out there and look for a job. <laughs> Every day, you know, looking's not the problem. I can find jobs. It's getting hired that I can't get done. Guy's got 170 bucks in his checking account. He's got nothing in his savings account. Yeah. And he's wondering how he's going to put food on his table. I care for these people and I want to help these people. And one way I help them is not to continue policies that will create more people on unemployment rolls. The law means up to $600 million in federal money is no longer being pumped into North Carolina's economy. As for Marceau, he might head elsewhere to find work if he can find a way to fill up his gas tank to leave. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, Goldsboro, North Carolina.